What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to part 2 of my Crash Bandicoot recasting video. And maybe this isn't a series you're into, because the first video did really poorly in comparison to the Sonic ones. Maybe the Sonic ones only did well because it was topical at the time. You know, with Roger Craig Smith leaving and everything. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you like this recasting series, and what series would you like me to recast next? So, with all of that said, the same rules as last time still apply here. No unattainable Hollywood celebs, and no one who has voiced the characters before. Let's begin. Starting off with Entropy, I have a very good pick for him. Now, normally he's a super threatening Crash villain. Not much comedy, but they did amplify it a bit in Crash 4, with the addition of Femtropy and their flirting, and then Entropy's little clock excitement, if you know about that. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to pick a voice actor who could bring back the intense villainy of Entropy while still keeping the comedy side. Now, people say that Entropy reminds them of Jafar. Meanwhile, Entropy has actually shared the same voice actor as Captain Hook at one point. But my ears are leaning more towards the side of another mustache Disney villain, Dr. Facilier, voiced by Keith David. Let's listen. Bold words! But know you that my daughter is a rare jewel. She cannot be wooed by just any ragamuffin prince. Enchanté. A tip of the hat from Dr. Facilier. How y'all doing? Now isn't this a whole lot better than hopping around the bayou for the rest of your life? Now we come to Uka Uka, and his voices tend to have sort of a similar theme. We only heard him laugh and then scream and crash for it's about time, but it seems to continue to follow that theme. It's always low, gravelly, and raspy, perfect for yelling at Cortex. Sometimes this tone is aided by lower voice pitch effects and reverb, but other times there's no effects at all, like in CTR so you can hear the tutorial more clearly. So I wanted to get a voice actor who can achieve that tone both with and without the effects, and for that I choose Mike McFarland, the voice of Master Roshi in Yajirobe in Dragon Ball, and the voice of Paul Phoenix in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. You're gonna hear the same 15 seconds of audio twice. The first round is without the effect, and the second round is with the effect, so you can get a pretty good idea of Uka Uka being voiced by him. Check it out. <laughs> go, go, go! I am way too strong! Best in the universe! You're not practicing enough! Hey, you get up and fight! I'm not done yet! I haven't shown you everything I can do! Go, go, go! I am way too strong! Best in the universe! You're not practicing enough! Hey, you get up and fight! I'm not done yet! I haven't shown you everything I can do! Now let's exit the realm of Crash 4 and expand the characters who didn't appear in it but could return in the very near future with Nina Cortex. Now, I really didn't want to pick Tara Strong because it's just so easy and basic of a choice, and other actresses need their chance. But with Nina being a bratty little goth, it's something Tara could achieve very, very easily by combining her roles of Timmy Turner and Raven from Teen Titans. Let's take a listen. A giant chicken. I must be the luckiest girl in the world. I trust you! We trust you! We gave you everything! You treat us like the dirt! Love is an empty emotion in this black hole we call life. Well, my mom is allergic to cats. If you poof up a bunch of them, my dad let me get a dog to chase them away. And now as we go to Pasadena Opossum, we have possibly the easiest recasting choice in this entire Crash Bandicoot recast series thing. As I choose Carolyn Lawrence, the voice of Sandy Cheeks in SpongeBob and Cindy Vortex in Jimmy Neutron. You probably already hear it just fine in your head, but you know, we gotta take a listen anyways. Y'all best apologize, or I'm gonna be on you like ugly on an ape! Don't you dare take the name of Texas in vain! SpongeBob, this here's my sister Rosie, and my three nieces! This in here's Macadamia! You mean, you sent my best friend on a dangerous wild goose chase just so you could go shopping! Next up is Von Clutch, and I choose Robin Atkin Downs, the voice of Medic in Team Fortress 2 and Travis Touchdown in No More Heroes. Now, I didn't want to go with this voice at first, because just going with the first German accent I can think of would be way too easy, but when you consider Medic's mad doctor personality, and the fact that Von Clutch owns a very destructive and dangerous amusement park about racing cars with weapons, it just works way too well, so let's listen to this insanity. We should trade. Oh, I see you looking. You want this? Then trade me for it! <laughs> Your silly clown weapon is making a mockery of this war! <laughs> what did you think you were going to kill with that? <laughs> well done! Thank you! 
<laughs> Thank you. That was fun! <laughs> now we go to Pinstripe Potoru. His only real speaking roles were in the Crash Team Racing games, so he hasn't exactly had a major role in a game yet. And when he finally does get a bigger part, that squeaky strain sound may not be pleasing to listen to for extended periods of time. So I'm looking at Charlie Adler for whenever Pinstripe becomes more important. You may know him as Cow and Chicken and the Red Guy on Cow and Chicken, or Mr. Whiskers in Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. But for Pinstripe, I'm looking at his role as Chicken. Now the voice is going to be a bit deeper and the accent's going to be a bit thicker, but I think it'll work pretty well for Pinstripe, so let's take a listen. Eesh, come on, this is all stuck. Mm -hmm. What would you do without me, Cow? You would be no ways. Hey, I know you hate being ugly, but somebody has to make everyone else look good. Just what clown in his right mind is gonna make a fashion model out of a two-ton slab of cheese like you? Chicken form? Ooh, now there's a job I can do! And finally, let's end it with someone who doesn't even have a voice in the first place. The Viscount from Crash Boom Bang. Now, people have been requesting for him to return a lot, ever since Crash Team Racing Nitro Field got super in-depth with bringing back characters. So, maybe we'll see him soon. Now, what do we know about him? He's a prissy snob, but also a villain, and gets people to do his work for him. So that makes me think of characters like Squilliam Fancy Son from Spongebob, who is voiced by D. Bradley Baker. He also voices Klaus from American Dad. So let's listen to that. A group that big is never wrong. That's why it's called mob mentality, not mob stupidity. You think you can be on the kiss cam twice? A documentary so unwieldy and meandering, Burns himself has disavowed it. But now that you have reminded me, the humiliation I suffered that day will not go unpunished. So let me know what you thought of that. And there you have it, seven more Crash Bandicoot characters recasted. Let me know what other Crash characters you'd like to see if I do a part three. Let me know what other series you'd like to do if I attempt to do another series. And let me know if you like this recasting thing in the first place, because again, the Crash one hasn't quite done as well as the Sonic one, even though Crash is the main game I talk about on this channel. So, I don't know, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Leopold the Brave, out.